Number 44. Find the power dissipated in each of these extension cords. Letter A. An extension cord having a 0.06 ohm resistance through which 5 amps is flowing. So uh, they're asking us to find the power, all right, basically. And the power dissipated is kind of just the power uh, lost, more or less, okay, uh, in the particular uh, wire itself, right? Uh, it, it's like friction, right? Water th flowing through a hose, right, exhibits friction on the walls, and same thing with basically electricity. So uh, I need to find the power. So the power dissipated in a wire will be equal to then there's several formulas here, right? There's three over here on the right-hand side we can use. And depending upon the information that's given in the problem, there might be one formula that's better to use than the others. You can derive all those formulas from one another anyway by doing some substitutions. So, but it might be easier to memorize them all. So um, here, the power uh, dissipated in a wire is going to be equal to the current flowing through that wire squared multiplied by the resistance of that current flow in the wire. All right, so all I need to simply do literally is uh, plug it in, right? So the current here they told us is five amps squared. Now multiply that then by the resistance of 0 0.06, all right? So power here, that's dissipated. So five squared times 0 0.06. Works out to be 1.5, okay, 1.5 amps. Oh, excuse me, watts, 1.5, and I guess zero will do three sig figs, whatever. So 1.50 watts. Now remember power is essentially joules per second, okay? And this is an energy amount, the, this is the amount of energy, all right, that is being dissipated, 1.5 joules of energy per single second. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but it always depends on the rates of, uh, you know, inflow of energy and outflow of energy. So, um, you know, as you can see when, in the, I'm just thinking about household wiring or electric cords here, right, as the current uh, drawn by the appliance increases, all right, what happens to the power dissipated by then the, um, by the wire itself? It goes up. More power dissipated by the wire means more energy flow. More energy flow means more heat, okay? So, it's always good to have your wires sized properly. So power then for letter B, now it says a cheaper cord. Oh, don't, don't, don't go with the cheaper option. A cheaper cord utilizing thinner wire and with a resistance of 0.3 now. So it's going to be the same calculation, right? It's going to be 5 squared multiplied now by 0 0.3. So this is going to be 25 multiplied by basically one third, right? Well, it's almost one third was 0.3. So that works out to be 7.5 and that's in watts. So this should make sense. Um, in terms of now, right, the um, resistance here was 0 0.06. The new resistance here was 0 0.3. So in other words, if you take 0 0.3 and divide by 0 0.06, there was a five time increase now in the resistance. So what do you think happened to the power? There's also a five time increase as well. And that's because the power is dependent linearly. It's just directly related to R. As R goes up by a factor of five, power goes up by a factor of five. See? So cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.